Hi Aquarius. My name is Narai. I am going to be doing an Aquarius reading. This will be general. Uh, so mind you, this will not resonate with everyone. I do go based off the card meanings and then there are times where I interpret the cards intuitively. I typically do not know until I pull the card. You may get a pentacle card and I may read it as a love card or an emotion. Um, so if you feel something in regards to a card uh, in addition to my interpretation because you're familiar with tarot by all means add that into whatever you see fit um, but don't force a story to fit don't try to manipulate a story into being yours because it either is or it isn't you'll know if something resonates with you there are going to be a lot of people that it's not going to resonate with. So, let's get started. I will shuffle on camera. And Spirit, we are doing a spread for Aquarius. Please provide me cards the sign of Aquarius. Let me feel their energies and send messages so that I can express them to the sign of Aquarius. Okay. What do you have for Aquarius? What do you have for Aquarius? What do you have for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius? Sign of Aquarius. Any, any messages for the sign of Aquarius? Messages for the sign of Aquarius. I just want one more card, please, Spirit. Message for the sign of Aquarius. One more card. Message for the sign of Aquarius. Message for the sign of Aquarius. I guess that's it. Sign of Aquarius. Spirit has said nope. We're done. Ma'am. Okay, we're gonna go with these. Alright. So we have the four of swords looks like some of you may be taking some time alone to rest. Possibly self-reflecting as well. Definitely trying to balance some things out. Taking some time out to get some things right mentally. Definitely self-care. I think self-care is very important. Prince of Dis is the Knight of Pentacles. And for the Knight of Pentacles, that is somebody coming in. Somebody trustworthy. Somebody... Um, that does the work and this kind of leads me to believe that this might have to do with a relationship in a sense now we have the Prince of Wands which is the Knight of Wands that somebody just looking at this card, it makes me think, <laughs> it makes me think of like the rise of the phoenix because you see the fires, uh, the, the flames. It kind of makes me think of some sort of turmoil um, that someone went through, but this is an action card. This is an action card. Um, 
I kind of can get the sense that some of you Aquarius had gone through something. Let me actually, let me clarify. This is my baby deck. Let me clarify the Four of Swords. Spirit, we're going to clarify the Four of Swords for the sign of Aquarius, please. Verify, or clarify, excuse me. The Four of Swords for the sign of Aquarius. I feel like this is some sort of recovery for love. And that you're in your head about it. Trying to probably put the pieces back together. Okay. All right, Spirit. Please clarify the Four of Swords for the sign of Aquarius. Clarify. Thank you. Possibly an earth sign. Okay. Seven of pentacles and nine of pentacles. So, somebody had some work and, um, some personal success and dependence. And for the Seven of Pentacles, you're being patient. It, I actually think this does have to do with a relationship. I get it. So I'm what I'm seeing is if you continue working on yourself, taking the time, I think you probably need to focus on yourself. And the reason I say that um, is because this card has to do with self sufficiency and independence. I think if you do that then there are going to be some offers. One person is going to be very, very slow. But they're going to, again, be trustworthy and a person that's willing to put the work in. What's so great about that is if you've been in situations in the past where it was not reciprocal, it will be reciprocated. And then the Prince of Wands, um, can be someone coming in, but it could also be some sort of adventure or opportunities. It, it could actually be that it doesn't even have anything to do with a person. It just could be some opportunities, whether it be job opportunities, money-making opportunities, or an individual uh, that will come towards you. You just have to focus on yourself. Keep working on yourself, finding balance, If you are confused about some things, I think if you continue focusing on yourself, you will find the answers within. And we tend to attract people when we're not trying. We tend to attract people when we are completely working on ourselves. Have you ever noticed that? And so, This is a person that's committed, but they're slow. If you're looking to meet someone, just continue doing the inner work. There may be shadow work that needs to be done. Um, some individuals 
are always in relationships. And then they notice a pattern. I don't know what your history is. You know that better than I do. But if you have noticed a pattern in your relationships, then this is going to be the time to take advantage of being by yourself if you are alone and doing the inner work so that you're self-reliant. If you are not by yourself and you're involved with someone, you may need to just put a little more effort into working on yourself. There will be an opportunity that comes, whether it be a person or possibly things getting better within the relationship. And so, I think that's going to be it after I pull a few more cards. these. Just a few more cards, please. Ooh, that's from another deck. That's from another reading. A few more cards for the sign of Aquarius, please. Are very interesting and thought-provoking Aquarius. Aquarius are definitely interesting people. Hey Kinfolk, hey Sadat, hey Priestly. My brother is an Aquarius. I have an ex that's an Aquarius and my friend, Kinfolk, is an Aquarius. All right. Card for the sign of Aquarius, please. One or two cards for the sign of Aquarius. Another card for the sign of Aquarius. Another sign. Another card for the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, please. tied up and goddess of the moon okay what I get from this one is that there is a new moon coming and you may want to do a new moon ritual and write down some affirmations or some things that you would like to achieve in life and also make a list of things that you know need to be let go of to, in order to improve your life. And then we have all tied up. Oh wow. For me this goes with this one. So if there are some things that make you feel kind of bound whether it be a way of doing things, a way of thinking, or even a person, it may be time to let that go. And the last card. I'm sorry, I'm realizing you guys can't see these. The last card is going to be from this deck. Luck. Water. Cycle. Oh, okay. Message. There are going to be some things that work out for you. You need to continue thinking positive and believing in yourself. There might be some situations that require you to be fluid 
they could possibly be uh, be triggering like somebody trying to trigger you or get a reaction out of you remember to stay calm and balanced and go with it do just be fluid my friend be fluid kind of like Bruce Lee says there may be some cycles that have been going on um, that need to end which is why you would write down the affirmations or goals or spells or however you want to say it um, and let those things go and then the message there might be a message coming to you the message for you might actually be this reading but there may be additional messages coming there may be things that come that make you come back and reflect on this actual reading all right Aquarius that's what I have for you hope you have a good night if this resonated like and subscribe if not that is okay there are many many readers on YouTube I'm sure you will find somebody that has a reading that resonates with you more. Thank you so much. Bye.